My people, how on a day? See, eh, no verse for me say, I no bring gist for you as it is old. You know, for some days now, I no drop gist. Because, you know, I had to relax and be taken care of. Like Relax and be taken care of. Like seriously guys i needed that break i needed that rest but now i am back <clears throat> see eh, i've been hearing this news for a while now like for some months now but i don't believe him but it be like say this thing is real low hey i saw the news yesterday but i don't believe until i did my own personal research guys it is true that david does assurance to cheer mass turn to endurance hi hey, i am i am shocked though hey i am beyond shocked guys yeah, seriously you see the first person that broke this news was just lovers blog yes that was where i read the news but this lover did not show us the pictures of the babe did not show us the baby bomb did not show us anything so you know i was like okay and the news was not really viral like that but you see there's another blogger with the name gist merchant this one now broadcasted the news this one now put the news out and put the pictures of this davido's fourth baby mama oh my man when i see the babe's picture i say hey hey no wonder the video no wonder the video no fit stay put like this baby is so cute this baby is so fine but now let us look at the assurance that the uh, video gave chioma please Biko, where is the assurance where is the assurance the assurance don't turn to endurance seriously guys now let me read what uh just merchant said so he said and i quote there have been rumors floating around for a while now of the video having another child i'm here to confirm the gist and give the details meet the newest ba uh, baby mama larissa yasmin lorenko hmm. aka larissa london it be like say this one no be ninja babe yes it be like say this one a foreign babe yes care now let's continue with the gist so gist mansion said a makeup artist born and raised in angola mm, you see but moved to uk and have been in david's life since 2017 Chai. now we now check the picture he says scroll to the to the to the next picture you see what he's talking about now guys you can see this picture you can see our very own larissa our very own uh davido's baby mama she was at the back and this picture was taken in the year 2017. Oh yeah, now let us continue reading what Gist Marchand said. So this person said, okay, he sure knows how to shuffle these women at the same time. She went off social media when the rumor initially started and I've only just returned to posting again. She posted the above picture to make it seem like she's still pregnant so as to confuse the timeline. Meanwhile, she she already delivered a baby boy back in March and this is an old picture. This is a second child as she already has a daughter. Hmm. Guys, let me pause there for a moment. You see, Jis Lover said something and I think I believe it now. Jis Lover said that, you see this um, person, this baby mama, this fourth baby mama from Davido, she was paid to keep her mouth shut. She was paid not to make any sound. She should just go on the low. May she no shout, say she get belle for Davido guys this gist is hot to oh. ha it is sweet my belly now now i believe it now let's continue reading what gist merchant said so gist merchant now continue though he said okay this is our second child as she already has a daughter okay maybe for another um guy now the hookup was as that resulted in this pregnancy happened in new york mid last year that's summer 19 when david was back and forth in u.s first for his second daughter's birthday okay that is early then a brief hero tour back in u.s for memorial weekend show next in nigeria for his first daughter's 
air product launch that's imade's um, air product launch and then back in us in june for another show in philadelphia and branched afterwards to new york to give larissa belle before moving on to atlanta to rest of his trip hmm. this one deep girl please who is giving them all this interesting gist hmm. I'm suspecting some people. I'm suspecting um, people like Sophia Momodu. But you see, the, um, David was first baby mama. I'm suspecting this. Um, anyways, guys, me, I don't even suspect anything again. You know, me, I don't cause quanta. No, no, let's move on no, to what Gist uh, Marshan said. So, Gist Marshan now continues. He said, okay, Larissa was also with him at the Afro Fest Portugal that happened back in August of 2019. Hey! Now, wow, who can be giving all this gist, all the details, even the date, the time, everything they hear? Guys, who can be giving all these juicy details? Now, continuation, continuation of this, uh, of what this machine said. Um, Davido is currently denying the baby and blocked her so she has no access to him. He is trying to save face with uh, Chef Chi for a while now. Things haven't been rosy between them. That is Chef Chi and Davido. And they have been living apart. But with this news now, trust them to come back together and do photo shoot, photo shoot pressing breasts and sharing tongue to convince us that Chivido is still going to happen. Hmm. My guess, Chivido is dead in the water. Fingers crossed. Chai! Oh, my man so much details in this caption ah this one depot this one giddy gun um when i heard this story i was completely shocked i say hey whoa what is happening so david oh, now the assurance was promising uh chioma where did he hide the assurance the assurance has already transformed to endurance now. You see, and a lot of people are coming for Chef Chi. They did not even come for David. Oh, the guy will do all these things. They are coming for Chef Chi. They say, you see, where is the assurance? You see yourself. You know, they are just doing all sorts of things to mock uh, Chioma, which is really unfair. But guys, I really want to know your thoughts on this gist. I see the heart. I want to know your thoughts in the comment section below. So you see, my people, when I went on Larissa London's Instagram page, oh my man, I was looking at how beautiful these babies. Then I was checking the comment section. Okay, oh, what has what are people saying in the comment section? But you see, Larissa literally blocked all the comment sections in her Instagram page, but she left just one or two. I think she left two uh pictures, you know, she left two posts for people to comment on them now so all our ninja brothers and sisters they gather for there they, they take picture they they congratulate larissa they say hey larissa baby hey larissa like seriously nigerians know they carry last <laughs> seriously guys this is the shock with that yo ish me i no lie i am super shocked ah ah Davido, you just you just form my hand. You see, that is the reason why you should not be wishing anybody's. Uh, you know, be saying, oh, this person's relationship is perfect. See how beautiful they are on Instagram. On Instagram of all places, I wish to have somebody like this. I wish to be like this. Please, my brothers and sister, don't ever, ever, ever wish to be like. You know, have someone kind of relationship online. Eh, that is the worst case scenario ever. I'm telling you. Now, guys, moving on to our big brother Ninja celebrities. Oh my goodness. You see, this big brother Ninja reunion is getting more dramatic and more intense. And Venita is seeming to take the crown of being vocal, of expressing herself during the show. And she did it again. See, during this latest episode, um, Ella was really 
angry she was sad she cried as she walked out of the show she came back into the show because of what venita said because of what mercy said because of what kimopra and diane said okay now let me tell you who started everything our very own venita venita said ah see you i like ella but you see there are some things i don't like about ella there are some things i don't like about her you know she now started to talk about everything all right guys take a little snippet look at a little snippet of what our venita had said about ella one of those people that's closest to me if i absolutely need to it's going to stay within that group yeah so that's one reason why i was like mm, okay so should okay. we talk to you guys first no, no. no she went to the public yeah and it's just like nobody's helped so me so you get level water yes, yes we do yes. Is everybody said yes, yes. Uh, everybody up until recently what? she went public with the situation of her mum was ill. Now, and I, I, like I said, forgive me if I'm actually wrong, yeah? But we did not see any receipts regarding that matter. The next day, Ella released a makeup, a, a picture of her fully made up, videos of her first live band performance at the beach. Now, like, live musicians, you have to pay them. Sorry, had you guys raised money at this time? Yes, yes. 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 she had collected a lot of money from the, the outside, yeah? Okay, did because, you guys? Yeah, we did. So, the next day, I saw a picture. You know, the makeup artists, like you see on social media, when they make a makeup, they take a picture. Now, I don't know about any of you, but if my mum is just been operated on, you're not seeing me with a face beat singing on the beach, ooh la la. I'm in that hospital, yeah? Then Kim proceeded to ask questions about which hospital, where is it, why did you do this? Okay, you know what, just tell us where she is. Let's confirm this. No response was made. Nice. You think she lied about her mother? Being she, I, I suspect. I suspect. So, guys, you can hear what Venita had to say. In fact, she said a whole lot more than that, too. A whole lot more because Venita was not cool with Ella at all. She opened file, yeah, show. She does not even care if the file has different emotions. Maybe the file is sad, happy, black, white. She does not even care. She does open the file, yeah, like that. I'm not cool with this, this, this. You see? When you say this topic, betrayal, disloyalty, and pretense, me I already know that this topic will, will bring out the drama. This topic would bring out more pepe, and it did. And you see, Venita is taking the lead champion. Okay, you see, Venita said she was not cool with the two publicity stunts that Ella did. You know, when she was out of the Big Brother Niger house, despite the fact that they were in the same WhatsApp group. So, you know what Ella did? Ella went, um, she was telling the public on on her instagram page that she wants to stop music and that she doesn't have funds to support her music and that her mom is in the uh her mom, her mom needs to undergo surgery and she does not have the money to fund her mom's surgery hmm. so venita was just pissed that ah, okay you you said these things in the public we ourselves as your colleagues we heard of these problems you are facing from the public you do not come to the group and tell us about these things you are going through okay we do not even hold you for that we forgave you and we even helped you to gather up some money right after we gathered that money for you the public also gathered money for you we gave it to you few days later you now rub makeup on your face went to the beach you started singing you started saying you wear fine clothes, you they sing. Wait, is it our money you used to do all those things or what? You do not even tell us about your mommy's health, how your mom was doing. You do not even give us any backstory. You just ghosted on us like that. It doesn't make sense. I, I, I am hustling and sweating for my money. And out of my generosity, I gave you to take care of your mom but you are not accountable for it you see venita also called ella deceitful bipolar and somebody that has five different personality on um, more this one depot that was the reason why um ella stormed out crying so hard you see mercy too had it perpetuate she said mm, ella please do you do drugs are you doing drugs 
Like that question was really direct and sharp. Ella said, no, 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 no. Hey, but it means a lot too. Has Mercy seen Ella doing drugs before? I don't understand. But guys, you see, some celebrities came out to, to defend Venita because on the street of Twitter, on the street of social media, Venita is being dragged in the mud. They don't drag Venita. Eh? So they miss if the one that say, hey, hey, Venita, you said you fuck up. You suppose not talk this thing for for public. If you don't talk and for private. But you see, some people supported what Venita did. Example is Jaroma because I can remember clearly that Jaroma donated money for Ella when Ella came out. Like Jaroma supported Ella and she showed us receipts. So Jaroma now came out to talk about this this issue this situation gentleman said and i quote put all your sentiments and emotions aside look at it from a logical perspective jaruma's words carry weight therefore i have to say it as it is no matter who is involved ella got contributions from housemates she got another six hundred thousand naira and another 1.5 million million naira yet a boutique still called her out for owing fifty thousand naira <laughs> so as the helper you will feel so sad what will then happen if you give her capital to build her life no insult or abusive words please swipe left now so i swipe left too jaroma did not stop talking she continued she even posted receipts. Okay, let me read it. Jeremiah said, everyone has their own fault. Ever, Ella never told anyone that, that housemates contributed money for her. Let me reread that statement again. Ella never told anyone that housemates contributed money for her. Background. This is the first time we are all hearing about it. She only made a public video seeking 600,000 naira for her mother's medical bills. It's very difficult to tell the world that you don't have any money after Big Brother. Ella publicly did and that's why I helped her. But she never told us that other housemates contributed money for her. This is deep, man. <laughs> so, after I paid the full medical bill, 600,000 naira, she said she did not have a place to stay. So, so, I, you know, so she, she did not have a place to stay and her rent is 700,000 naira. Jaruma sent her another 1.5 million naira. Instead of managing it, she spent the whole 1.5 million naira in a day. But, guys, come on. How did Jaruma know that she spent all this money in a day? <clears throat> <clears throat> Anyways, moving forward, as a business entrepreneur that, that will encourage you, um, that will discourage you from supporting her with any more money. So, as usual... As the usual and normal Jaroma, she usually posts receipts. She usually posts payments that she has paid. She now posted the same payments of the money she has paid and everything. You see? It'd be like, say, Ella is in trouble right now. Because a lot of people are now seeing the other side of the story. So, guys, I would love to hear your thoughts and responses on this. Don't let me prolong this video more for that let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and make sure once again you subscribe to my channel because here we share trending entertainment stories so make sure you subscribe thank you so much for watching this video bye for now